Wilson. Hey, guys. And the crowd goes wild. I love Mose. Welcome to Mose. Hey, welcome to UNC Charlotte in front of the new student union here. Everybody's all hyped up. You know them. You love them. Coach Bobby Lutz is here with us. Uh, everybody knows the basketball coach. And uh, some of you people may not know, you're an alumni here. You're a Charlotte guy. We're talking football today. They got the Board of Trustees meeting. It's, it meeting. it's going on right now across the street there. What do you think? What would football mean to the, to the alumni, to the campus, and also to the basketball program? Well, there's so many uh, reasons that football would be such a great plus. And, and one is we are the urban university in this state and growing to, to major research levels. And I think it's just a part of it. It's, it's certainly not the first and foremost should be academics. Yeah. But, but a football team would just complete the collegiate experience along with all the other things that are here for our students and the community and uh, as far as basketball you know we don't bring recruits in till till basketball season right. you know often we'll bring a few in, in the fall but football weekends would be uh, you know a major plus for us and for, for, for you as, as an alumni and there's so many alumni just kind of all throughout the area here spread out through Charlotte and the Carolinas for the alumni what, what do you think that would mean and what, what would you say to alumni that are kind of on the fence right here not sure if they should commit yeah again it just is, is, is a support of, of, of our university just like if you support some of the academic programs which yeah. you should do but it, it adds a special experience you know college is more than just getting the degree yeah. it's, it's everything else around it and football uh, along with the other athletic programs can be a, a big part of that so you know they can practice by buying basketball season tickets <laughs> and they, they continue to support this football initiative because they're both important now speaking of that basketball uh, October's coming up practices everything getting going here how are we looking this year for uh, 49ers basketball yeah well we're healthy thankfully yeah. and uh, guys are working really hard uh, you know, we, we really like our team we've got young guys uh, we've got a few experienced guys Dewan Harris a local charlatan leads us at the point and uh, you know we're really excited about the depth and athleticism of this team and uh, as exciting as the football talk is yeah. you know basketball is going to happen in, in as you said in a month so we're ready to get it going yeah, and there's been some great moments with, with, in the last couple of years and just with the tournaments and just with everything and, and it'd be great to kind of just to see the team get up there and kind of join on with that football movement and just all the sports kind of coming together helping each other out absolutely that's that's what being a part of the family is being the 49er yeah. family so right. join us all right now let's your see. town your team there you go you gotta you gotta help me out here right over there right now they've been in the meeting now for almost an hour here the board of trustees are meeting right over here right behind mike the camera guy here what do you think these kids should be doing here let's make sure those board of trustees know we want 49er football what, what should they do well they're such, they're such great students we need to just charge over let's there charge. Let's charge let's, charge come on let's go get it come on let's go come on let's get them come on let's go let's go we're doing it we're charging it back to you guys we're going to the board stop traffic stop Isn't that great? Yeah, many more to come, we're hoping. Oh, yeah. Let's All right, we've got to go out to Wilson, who is out at UNC Charlotte, and um, he Moving is uh, hanging out with the college students today. Oh, my gosh, guys. Yeah, so some of the students had to leave for a class. we got a lot of them here. The Gold Dusters are here with us. They're hyped. They're excited. The Board of Trustees are meeting right now, talking about 49ers football, making it happen. And look who showed up right here. Mike Manner here. Two former Panthers, they've kind of been the face of the campaign making this happen. And, and, and Mike, you've been out there, you've been reaching out to the community. The reaction's been pretty strong so far. Oh, the reaction's been huge. I mean, anytime you start talking about football, okay, and college football, it better get it better get loud. And so what better way to bring it here, okay, to the community, to bring it here to UNCC Charlotte to play some football. That's good. No, like that's it. true. And you guys, and we, we talked before, this that college experience. And just what, what do you think it would mean here to these students, the alumni, just all of Charlotte? Well, what it does is bring everybody together. You start talking about the university coming together. Now you start talking about the community coming together. Yeah. And now everybody starts to know about UNCC Charlotte. And they start to bring outsider, too, yeah. okay, to understand what Charlotte is all about. That's what you want to do, bring that national um, exposure to this um, place. Get the spotlight in here. That's what it's all about. Guys, another guy used to be in the spotlight, uh, Rucker, man. I'm telling you, just, you've been going out there. You've been doing so much for here. We've had you on the radio show. You've been on a couple times here. What's it been like for you kind of representing uh, uh, UNC Charlotte 49ers football going out? What are you hearing from people? Well, it's been great, and I think the response has been great. You know, when you think about football and college, they go hand in hand. Uh, got a great sports here. Got great basketball. Um, you got baseball. And 
and, and number of sports, but you got to add football. Yeah. And for the kids that go here to college, you got to be able to wake up on Saturday and go to a football game. Yeah. That, that's just part, that's part of college football. That's part of college life. No, I'm telling you, we got Norm right here. Norm's hyped up. Sir Purr's right here. Great to have you guys here. But, yeah, I mean, that whole thing, you guys and, you know, and coming through uh, your school and, and, and Nebraska and just all that stuff kind of coming up, just there's nothing like that college game day experience. Well, you got high school football, great football. We got uh, Panthers on Sunday. Yeah. You need something on Saturday. Yeah. And this is a, it's a good um, spot for college football right here in Charlotte. You don't have to go down the road. You don't have to go up 77 or up 85. You can come right here to Charlotte and get some high, uh, college football. Uh, it's, uh, we, we got that going on. The, the, the board of trustees are meeting right there over there behind us. We'll talk more about that here in just a second. But I got to ask you guys, while we're here, uh, how many calls have you gotten this week? People seeing if you're going to come out of retirement. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, there's a lot of concern, but it's one game. Yeah. And, um, you know, I think to a man, everybody over there thinks that they can play better and they know they can play better. So yeah. uh, the opportunity, again, Atlanta this week. So uh, time will tell. Time will tell. That was a great non-answer. <laughs> Come on, man. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. No, I was good. So what are you going to tell people? Uh, if they're kind of on the fence, they're watching this, they get it. They, they love you guys. You know, the mic's coming out supporting this. Get you guys behind it. If they're on the fence, what do you want to tell people right now? Well, the bottom line is they got to get off the fence, okay? Yeah. In, in order for, yeah, I mean, that's what they got to do. In order for us to have football here on Saturday, you got to make a decision, okay? Yeah. You can't be indecisive. We got a timeline that we got to hit. Yeah. Yeah. So get off the fence and let's Let's go. Man, Come on. I'm ready. Sign me up. He's good right there. Hallelujah. Amen. Minnesota, do it. Let's do it. 49er football. We're going to make it happen right here. Log on to 49erfootball.com. Hey, uh, man, it's been awesome out here, everybody. Be great to see some football up here on campus. That's Wilson's World. Back to you guys in the studio. All right. Thank you, Wilson. What a great job this morning he has Having done. Having the mics out there. I'm get them all pumped up again. I am very jealous of his assignment today. Usually I'm not jealous of Wilson. Today I am. Please. <laughs> You're always wanting, especially if Wilson's eating anything, you want to be out there. We got food here today. <laughs> uh, Pet, uh, uh, you know what we got?